Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, guys. Everybody busy in their phones? It's okay, we're gonna send you the presentation after that. Relax, put your phones down. I think probably the next 20, 30 minutes, what I'm gonna describe, what we have in store. I mean, I've, I've not seen such beautiful designs, such, uh, such amazing parks, and the story behind the design itself. So we typically talk a lot about you know, layouts, prices, payment plans. Now I'll spend some time in this presentation explaining the thought behind the entire design of Valley Phase 2, which is itself a great extension of the valley. Now when we make something as Phase 2 or when we build on something great like what Valley has been, we want to make it better, we want to make it more grandier, which is what we've done in Phase 2. Before going to Phase 2, let's understand again, I mean, a lot of people, yes, they know where Valley is, but it's very important to put perspective on the map of Dubai, how Valley has been performing, and what is the importance of the Labab Road, which is connecting Alain Road and Sheikh Zayed right now. And a lot of times we talk about Dubai Alain Corridor, which is now the main trade corridor of Dubai and Alain, and, and the, the proximity of the Valley to the academic city and the great expansion of the Alain Road, making it accessible to downtown in just 20 minutes. But now, if you look at the other road, which is right next to Valley, which is the Labab Road, which directly connects towards the, towards the new airport. So this road has become a lifeline in Dubai. A lot of people who are transversing from the Alain Road towards Abu Dhabi are actually using this road, and you will see a lot of development going forward happening on this road. And this is where, at the start of this juncture, is where Valley lies, which is right 20 minutes to the downtown area, and around 20, 25 minutes to the new airport. Now, it makes this location perfect in terms of, if you, if you define something as suburb, I think Valley is the true suburb. And we spoke about the Lebab Road. It's five minutes to Rugby 7 Stadium. Now, a lot of sports activities happen right opposite the Valley. You're eight minutes to Dubai Outlet Mall. You're 25 minutes to downtown and Bush Khalifa. And you're 25 minutes to the airport on both sides. The current airport also onto the new airport. Now, why has Valley appreciated so much? The reason is being what we've designed in phase one. I mean, if you look at the town center, the Golden Beach, the Kids Tale, the Sports Village, and look at the sizes, we're looking at over 150,000 square meter of amenities, which made Valley phase one a huge success. If somebody asked me, why is Valley so successful today? I would actually tell because of this, because customers love what we gave in the Valley and what we are delivering. Eden phase one is, is almost delivered. People love how we've made it. Farm gardens phase one has been topped out. When they see the kind of distance between the two villas, they understand the kind of luxury which we are delivering there. And hence, a lot of life is coming to life here. And hence, Valley phase one today has already seen 66% appreciation as compared to when we launched around four to five years back. Now, this is a growth of transactions happened in the Valley in the last five years. When we launched, we launched at 650 dirham per square foot, and today everything has been trading upwards of 1,000, 1,100. I think Eden today is trading at 1,300 dirham per square foot, which is possibly 120% growth of what we launched in phase one. Now, this is the success story which we are building on. So here, the Valley phase one, because of all of this, gives us a very high benchmark. When a success story like this is there, we have to build up on that. And that's why Valley Phase 2 is going to be much bigger than Valley Phase 1. Now, the entire concept or the vision of Valley Phase 2 is a place where there are a lot of adventures waiting for you. Now, let me take you into the life of Valley Phase 2.
Now, why I said I wanted to basically tell you a story about how we thoughtfully designed this master plan. How many of you can see a V on the, on the screen? You can all see a V? So we've kind of designed the master plan around five elements. You're going to have a forest element. There is a beautiful river flowing around or across the center part. We have created a valley. We've created beautiful meadows and hills. Now, these five elements are have been instrumental in, in designing this particular master plan. And we've been inspired by nature. And hence, we've implemented all of these aspects in the valley phase two. There are 33 different amenities which are available in the central park. If you see in the center, this is going to be one of the semi-detached cluster. There is going to be villa, uh, townhouses and semi-detached around this cluster. But if you look at this park alone, this is twice the size of open areas what we have in Valley Phase 1. Now, when we talk about Chapter 2 and Phase 2, we have to double everything. So here, the amenities have been doubled. The open areas and the parks and the greenery, you have double the size of Valley Phase 1. And you have 33 different elements in this park, which I will describe in detail when we go to the cluster map which are more relevant to what we are launching. We will, we will talk in detail about each of these. But if you look at these particular things on the screen right now, you will have dunescapes, beautiful forest walks, shallow rivers, nature-themed parks. We have a beautiful kids' dale in the phase one. You have nature-themed play. You have meadow walkways. You have skate parks. You have adventure plays. And by the way, all of the customers who buy in Valley Phase 2 will also be able to access the amenities in Valley Phase 1 because the amenities are actually in between phase one and phase two. Now here, if you look at just the distance in between the, 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 two, the two concrete structures, now this is the kind of width the park is going to have. You're looking at almost 200 to 300 meters of the park in width in between uh, the two phases. Another render of how the uh, playgrounds and the basketball courts and the full-size football field is going to look like. The spaces that are truly connecting with the nature. You have beautiful riverside walkways, cycling track around the entire uh, park is there so that, I mean, you don't need to go out. Everything is inside the phase two itself. And the entire design is basically done to coexist with nature. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you the entire Valley Phase 2 cluster. Now, this is the Valley Phase 2. What we'll be launching now is, again, two Vs. Velora and Venera, both of them are townhouses. These are fourplex townhouses, which we will discuss in detail. And if you look at each of the community, is going to have great views. One of, some of the units are going to have beautiful water and green views. Other ones are going to have open lawns. You have landscape views. You have gathering spaces. As EMAR, we've, we've embarked on to not making back-to-back -back townhouses. Around a year back, we made a decision that we would not launch small plots. We will not make back-to-back -back villas. So all of our offerings, what you see, are lavish. They are basically large-sized, and not, none of the units are back-to-back. -back. Now, closer to Velora, we have these 14 amenities, where you have the fitness play area, you have the junior soccer pitch, you have tennis, basketball, and paddle courts, you have an orchard tree groove, you have a flower farm, there is a beautiful area for meditation and yoga, and you have gaff tree nursery, the sunken area, the adventure play area, you name it, whatever you need for a daily perfect activity, you have it in, Vel in uh, Velora. Coming to Venera, you have a beautiful riverside seating lounge. You have the skate park. We have replicated the sports activities again in Venera because, again, the park is huge. So we, we ensured that the sporting areas or, or the play areas are closer to each of the phases. So we have two or three areas in the park which are just designed for the playgrounds and the kids' play areas. Now, this is the cluster map for Velora. All of the units are fourplexes. So it means that we have equal number of three beds and four beds. Now, we've done this because we wanted to make it more lavish. If you, if you have less three bedrooms and equal number of four bedrooms, there'll be more open areas. Because every four bedroom is a corner unit. As you see, none of the unit is basically back to back. You have Sikkas in the middle. The central area has a beautiful pocket park. And all of this is the park running around the entire phase. So we have equal number of three bedrooms and four bedrooms in both the clusters. Now we have different styles. I think no two villas should look alike. People need the choice to select what they want. Most of it is architectural 
designs which are going to change the kind of facade uh, which is going to have in the townhouses. Now, as you see, in each of the phase, we have six to seven different styles, which basically defines the way the facade is going to look like. Also, worthwhile to understand that with Venera, if you look at this part over here, which is marked as K, now this is the amenities part of Alana. It is right next to Alana, which is also accessible to the customers who are going to buy in Venera. So as we say, it's a valley extension, it's a valley phase two. So all the amenities of phase one are accessible for phase two, and all the amenities for phase two are accessible for the customers in phase one, which is just trying to enhance and make life more beautiful in the valley. Now taking you into some renders of how the villas are gonna look like, because the plot sizes are the largest, in the market for the three bedroom and four bedroom townhouses, the offering in Valley Phase 2, we have the largest plot sizes. You can have a look at the depth of the backyard. It is a very good depth where you can put a good pool, which is typically around four to five meters, depending upon three to four bedrooms. And we're talking about a good two to three meter with pool, which can be put in a, in a townhouse. We never talk about putting pools in a townhouse, but these kind of plot sizes gives you the luxury of putting pools in these layouts. You have floor to ceiling windows in all the units. You have beautiful views from the first floor of the townhouses. All the townhouses are G plus one. What you see on the other side are the semi-detached, which will be launched at the later stage. But you have G plus one structures for the townhouses. More renders uh, of the townhouses. This is, this is the rear side. This is a typical three bedroom. And this is a typical four bedroom. Now what is the investment opportunity? We talk about every time there has to be opportunity, otherwise why would customers invest? If you don't show that kind of capital appreciation to the customers, they will not come and invest with us, right? Right or wrong? So it has to be a great opportunity, both for the customers and also for the channel partners who are helping us sell. Now before going into the opportunity, let us understand what's happening in the market. It's very important to benchmark the competition before understanding what we have for offering. Now what you see on the slide are the last three townhouse launches by the competition, some dating back to November last year, some dating back to this month. What you see is basically either small plot sizes or higher PSF rates. Now this is a combination which developers can't work with. If you want to give large plot sizes, you have to give you have to basically charge more for the customers. Now, there have, there have been uh, 1,900 square foot three bedrooms being offered, but nothing less than 1,200 to 300 dirham per square foot. At the same time, if somebody is offering 1,000 dirham per square foot, they are offering 1,550 square foot of plot. So plot sizes and PSF rates cannot go hand in hand. But that is where the real opportunity lies, and that is where we bring to you. You look at the layouts of what we have, our average built up area for a three bedroom is 2450 square foot, and an average plot size is 1950 square foot. These are one of the expansive layouts we've ever made. You have a 450 square foot living and dining area. You have a close kitchen as required by many customers who are buying townhouses. You have a lavish 90 square foot of entry foyer. A lot of times we look at, you know, optimize the space, it's a townhouse, but why not? Why not the customers who are buying a three bedroom? Why can't they have a lavish entry foyer? You have a 90 square foot of entry foyer and you look at a bedroom on the first floor which has almost a five meter width and you have a massive plot of 1950 square foot where the three bedrooms in contemporary competition is around 1500 square foot. Coming to the four bedroom, the average built up is 2754 square foot. The average plot is 3300 square foot. 3300 square foot is one of the largest four bedroom townhouse plots ever launched in the entire market. Again, this has a closed kitchen. All the bedrooms on the first floor are ensuite. If you look at all the three bedrooms on the first floor have ensuite washrooms, and 30 to 89 square foot is the largest plot area as compared to the contemporary competition, which is launching the same size of built up on a 2300 plot. Now the townhouse opportunity for the customers here is expansive built up areas. You have the largest plots. You're building on the success story of Valley phase one and you have a relaxed 80-20 payment plan where you pay only 20% every calendar year. All of this is good and great, you know, people like these offerings, people love big spaces, people love big plots. But one thing which is beyond all of this is the price per square foot, right? 
if you are not giving an attractive price per square foot, the investors would not see value. Now, today, the secondary market of the valley is trading at 1,300 dirhams per square foot onwards. Eden is going at around 2.4 million for a three bed for an 1,800 square foot size, which is a 1,300 dirham per square foot. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is why I call this the best opportunity from EMR in 2024 for townhouses. We are launching Valley Phase 2 at 990 dirham per square foot. So the three bedrooms for 2487 square foot will be starting at 2.48 million. Naturally, these prices are all for the units over here. On the first line, all of them are around 2.48 million. The units over here are in between 2.5 to 2.7, 2.8 million. And the ones on the park will be slightly 5 to 7% higher because they have beautiful vistas. Now, that is why this makes the opportunity for the customers as one of the best. The four bedrooms starting 2715 square foot of built up area will be starting at 2.84 million. I think these are unbeatable prices, which we have not seen this year at least. In terms of per square foot rate, probably this is a sub thousand dirham per square foot offering, which I think you should forward to all your investors because you're looking at a minimum 30 to 35% appreciation, even at current rates. You're looking at a 1300 dirham per square foot, which is trading currently in Eden, and you're getting something at 1000, 1050, which makes it an unbeatable price. Now the booking process, the registrations will commence on 27th of June onwards. We'll give you two to three days to reach out to your customers, collect your checks. The bookings will start from Saturday onwards. Thank you guys for attending, and we invite all of you to please join us in unveiling the master plan.